Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA had one job yesterday, guys, to release the SBC packs that we wanted them to release, and they failed. Now, do they not want us grinding those packs during Premier League Team of the Season, or are they about to ruin one of the best things that we look forward to every single year about this promo? I want to talk about that, why they didn't come out, and maybe they're just saving them for today on Tuesday. We'll talk about that and we need to discuss buy times for these Premier League TOTS cards. I know a lot of you guys really want to buy these for your teams. When is the time to buy? Will they even go up out of packs? We're going to discuss that in today's video and more. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's start with that SBC content. The SBCs that we actually did get yesterday, of course, with the 81 plus player pick heading that all up. We knew this was going to come out. We shouted it yesterday. It's the same 81 plus, 80 plus player pick one-off trade-off we get every single week. So that is out and it is nice. It is nice to have that for sure. Now, the other player pick that I want to highlight, because actually this is probably worth doing every single day, the 85 plus player pick. I like these way better than the 83 pluses because you get a really good chance of packing a team of the season from these guys. I packed a team of the season from one of the three player picks yesterday, and it seems like the drop weight on those in these packs is pretty good. It's an 84 rated squad, sure. Some might say it's not worth it, especially if you end up getting an 86 rated or an 85 rated from this pick, and that's possible. But I think this gives you a lot of upside for packing a team of the season card. So each day, I would at least try to get them done, craft them with the player picks, right? Still do the daily gold, daily bronze, silver, and gold upgrades to get yourself commons to put into the 81 plus pick to craft this. I think it is 100% worth doing, but I want to shout that because that might be overlooked a little bit. It is actually a really good player pick, especially right now during team of the season. So we had UEFA marquee matchups dropped yesterday as well. Not that big of a surprise. What kind of was a surprise to me though is we have Champions League today. I kind of forgot about that. In the midst of team of the season and everything, we have Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich. So it is Tony Cruz versus Kimmich today. Now, an upgrade is being played for, but this is the first leg. So, technically, whoever wins today's match will not be getting an upgrade. It'll come after the second leg. And I believe this upgrade that is being played for is a berth to the semi final, which would give the third play style plus. It's not an actual stat upgrade to Kimmich or to Cruz. Whoever were to go through between um, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, it would be a plus one play style on the car. But we're going to shout that because that is why this UEFA marquee matchups was dropped. And then, of course, we have PSG and um, Dortmund on Wednesday. So that is the games that are upcoming today that I almost forgot about, according to that SBC right there. A little bit of correlation there. Now, we didn't talk about the player SBC yet, and I want to talk about that now because we had a player SBC. It was Chloe Kelly. And this is a big name player in the Women's Super League and a very meta card in FC24. Her gold card and her fantasy FC have been very, very used this year. She's very good in game, very hyped and used, right? Now, the problem with this card is it looks nuts. 97 pace, 93 passing, 93 dribbling. She's got quick step, whipped pass, and first touch plus, and a five-star weak foot with a couple of 99 rated stats there in attack positioning and shot power, which is pretty crazy, along with the finesse shot regular and a bunch of the ball control play styles. Really, really good card. Honestly, an insane card. The problem is the price. This is coming in at, uh, I think Footman doesn't even say it there, 900,000 coins or somewhere around there, eight to 900K for this Chloe Kelly. It's eight squads, including a 91 rated squad. Like, yo, that's kind of crazy EA that a 91 rated squad is uh, required here as a part of this SBC. I think that's the biggest problem with this is the price. I mean, it is a great card for sure. And some of you guys will be going and crafting this SBC for sure. But I just think evident by the down votes on the SBC and on the player card itself, I think a lot of people are just saying this Chloe Kelly is too expensive, but the card does look cracked. That is for sure. So that is one SBC that we had yesterday. I don't know if we're going to get more player SBCs. I was expecting maybe one from the mixed league of TOTS, kind of like how we had all of those cards in packs, right? We have now had a WSL SBC. We've had multiple Premier League player SBCs. Are we actually going to get an SBC for the mixed league of TOTS that is in packs right now as well? That is something I don't know about, but I kind of hope we do over this next couple of days. Now, the other part of yesterday, if you maybe missed it, just kind of a small detail update. If any of you guys did the Isak Toure showdown, FC Lorient won that um, EAFC 24 Pro event, the E 
uh, League One, I think is what it was. So Torrey's going to go to a 91 rated card. I'm regretting not doing this SBC right now. He's going to get that cheeky plus two. I don't know if the Showdown Winner's Boost Evolution is still available to put cards into, but if it is, you could even put him, and I think he'd be able to be a 92 rated card if that Evo is still available and you had not put anybody in it. That card is getting upgraded pretty soon. I think they upgraded Ocampos as well yesterday. The Showdowns are kind of slowly getting their upgrades. Not that those are super exciting right now during team of the season, but it is worth noting. Now, again, let's go back to the XPC section and talk about yesterday what we didn't get, guys. We didn't get the Premier League specific upgrades. And that was, we talked about it at length in yesterday's video because it's something that everybody looks forward to every single year is getting those 11 player or 12 player gold rare packs that include Women's Super League and Premier League cards, the league specific upgrades, right? Really, it's it's a staple of team of the season like we talked about. It is a staple of team of the season for those upgrade packs to be coming out and it really kind of for me, it hurts my desire to want to grind the menus a little bit. Sure, 81 plus player picks are nice and the other packs and stuff that we have is really really good, but those league specific upgrades just give you the best chance of not only crafting SBCs for a really good price because you're getting a lot of fodder, but also having a really good opportunity of packing the Premier League or the WSL team of the season cards and that's the biggest disappointment for me is that i would have been spamming all of us would have probably been spamming those upgrade packs right now in this game if they were dropped and unfortunately we're not doing that because we don't have those SBCs. So I'm not here to complain the whole time, but honestly, it was brutal yesterday not seeing those SBCs dropped because so many of us were looking forward to that. And we talk about this all the time, expectations versus reality in this game. We expected very highly of a percentage that those SBCs were going to come out because they come out every single year, guys. And the fact that they didn't drop yesterday really was making a lot of us mad. It's <laughs> To put it to not mince words, we were mad yesterday when we didn't see that content release. So if also, if you're like, Nate, I'm not sure what this is like in the game when there's those upgrade SBCs released. If you've never experienced it, it is one of the most fun times on the game. And I'm just, I'm upset that we don't get to experience that right now. Sure, the 81 plus picks are good. And we have the 77 plus doubles. A lot of people are saying, Nate, those hour are league specific upgrade packs. It shouldn't be just this. It shouldn't be. I mean, this does not replace the premium upgrade packs we've had of the years past. Not even close. So I don't I don't buy that argument. I think there should be the regular, bigger, premium uh, league SBC packs that are out as well. And then we didn't get them. So I guess there's maybe a little bit of an opportunity that they could be coming today on Tuesday. I was thinking back yesterday in the stream of like times before where EA has made the upgrade pack situation frustrating and there was one year of team of the season i think it was team of the season where they didn't release the league specific upgrade packs until like thursday of that specific league and it created so much uproar and so much you know frustration and disappointment in the community that i think ea ended up making the sbcs come out earlier i really hope that if we're gonna get the sbcs we get them today and hopefully ea hear our frustration as this is some of our favorite content to get involved with during team of the season every single year the sbcs are already in the game from team of the year as we looked at yesterday all they have to do is press the button and make them go live. So hopefully some of our feedback and frustration for some of this, um, maybe go to the portal and submit feedback <laughs> that you want the SBCs, right? That uh, EAFC24 feedback portal. So I'm not holding out a lot of hope, to be completely honest, for this week. Maybe they come out in separate weeks, or maybe EA just didn't want us to have multiple days to do that, so they're just going to give us the SBCs today. But honestly, guys, the way that looks right now, we're not getting those unless something changes so that's a big disappointment it really is because that would have really unlocked the chance at packing team of the season cards for a lot of us and good crafting opportunities in the menus now instead we're stuck now looking at these tots cards that a lot of you guys want for your team and you're like okay i'm gonna have to try to get some coins to buy these because i don't have the opportunity to pack them that i wanted Let's talk about these cards. Let's go a little market turn here, right? This is what I do too. When I get a little frustrated in the game, just personally, I go to the market and I'm looking at cards to buy, to sell, to flip. This Declan Rice card, right? A lot of people want to buy him. He was just under 1.3 million coins. He's now going back up a bit. These cards are rare. You can see Declan Rice, 1.28 on Footbin. I bet if I click on him now, maybe he's above that. Oh yeah, 1.3 and then boom, 1.35s. 
these cards are fluctuating a lot. Some of them are down even more from where they were on the weekend. And I think we're getting to that spot where for some of these cards, we have to start thinking about buying them soon because we have that all important Premier League guaranteed team of the season pack coming out tomorrow on Wednesday, most likely. And after that is usually in years past when we've started to see people go out and buy these cards for the teams. After that one last big chance to pack a guaranteed Prem Tots card from a pack, if people don't get who they want, a lot of times they go to the market and start buying these cards. And one thing that I like a lot about these cards is they're fluctuating and they're moving every single day. Hyunmin Sun yesterday, who's right now 1.27, 1.26. This card was 1.39 at one point yesterday. The cards, if you look at the graphs, are moving a ton up and down. I think that just means there's a ton of demand for these cards because EA did a really good job of boosting these cards once again, and I get it. They're great cards with three playstyle pluses. That's why a lot of you guys want to buy them. So as we get to talking about a buy time, you know, I also want to look back at last year and even this year. We've already had examples of the Taz Live cards last week. They did not do that well out of packs. Remember, Anthony Robinson was like the only one who last week, because of the cup and people investing, went from like 80,000 coins to 100K, but then he tanked. And most of these cards right now, as we look at prices, are actually lower than they were. Now, now they're live, so it's a bit of a different story. But last week on Wednesday after the guaranteed pack came out, not too many of them went up. But I think this is a different story this week with these TOTS cards because these are really hyped cards and they're affordable. I said at the beginning of the week, the fact that Cole Palmer's team of the season with three playstyle pluses, one of the most fun cards that I've used from this TOTS team is only 1.1 mil. Like, that's crazy to me. I think that's just really cheap comparatively to TOTS cards and where they were last year. And I think if we look at last year as well and try to say, oh, Nate, there's no way that some of these TOTS cards are going to go up out of packs. Uh, look at what happened last year. I'd also tell you, like, look at some of the cards we had last year. They weren't that upgraded compared to some of the other items that came before them. And they didn't have the hype of the three play style pluses and stuff like that. And yeah, last year, the Prem Tots cards, I remember investing in Salah and I got destroyed. Like Salah went out of packs. He was 2.7 mil. Bundesliga team of the season came out and all of these Prem Tots cards got destroyed in price. Now, it could happen again this year, but I don't think it's going to because last year Prem Tots was kind of mid and Bundesliga and La Liga came out afterwards and it was insane. I don't think that Bundesliga is going to come out this year and be as much of a shock to the system in terms of the meta cards because these cards are already so meta and the stats are really, really good. I don't think these cards are going to crash like they did last year. I do believe, guys, these cards will be decent investments. Now, as it goes every single year during Team of the Season, I don't think that all of these cards are going to absolutely you know, fly in price and they're all going to be great investments because we get new cards in every single week of Team of the Season week after week after week and there's more better cards that come out more cards in general that people just want to try out for their teams instead of using the old stuff right it was out three four weeks ago people transitioned to wanting to use the new stuff the la liga cards when they come out that's going to be high right league one chance at mbappe stuff like that so i don't think these cards are going to just like go up until the end of the game not at all they're probably going to go up a bit and then drop down but if it's something that you want for this upcoming weekend league or even just for rivals gameplay this week i think we have to start looking into a buy time frame of sometime today especially later tonight with weekend league rewards i don't think the content that we get today on tuesday is really going to impact these cards that much but i do think there will start to be a bit more demand especially for some of the middle tier more rare cards cole palmer declan rice phil foden saka and saliba i mean saliba is down a lot because of the sbc that we got on Sunday for Konate. He was 650 yesterday and he's 573 right now. I know that he's kind of common ish on the market comparatively to other TOTS cards. He's more packable, but like this is a card that I think a lot of people, especially when I look at like Bundesliga team of the season and what is upcoming, this is a card that I could see doing halfway decent out of packs because, you know, that's an insane center back card. And if I had to compare, I mean, I haven't used Saliba, but if I had to compare what I think he would be like in game compared to Konate, I don't, I don't really like Konate. I did the SBC yesterday with some of my saved packs, and I'm kind of wishing I would have done Odegaard first because Konate is not bad. I just think that uh, that Saliba card would be better. So, you know, just keep an eye on some of the prices today. If there are drops as we head into weekend league rewards, 
um, and around weekend league rewards, I think I would I would feel confident purchasing some of these cards, maybe even some of the moments as well. Um, the more rare ones, though, um, I think will do the best. Maybe this Luis Diaz could do good. Uh, the Foden could do good. Rodri, I don't think all of them are going to fly and like explode in price. I mean, some of them will probably get packed on Rivals Rewards on Thursday as well. It's the first week of real team of the season, so we're taking a bit of a gamble. But these cards have so much hype. I think if you want it for your team, you can buy it and safely hold on to the into this weekend and probably either break even or make a few coins on some of these cards. I think middle of this week, though, is going to be the buy time because I do think after the guaranteed comes out, people are going to go out to the market and start buying these cards so that's one thing that i would want to mention i know a lot of you want to invest i think that's kind of what i would look for for a time frame and the more rare and the more hype the card is the better you know that's kind of what i'll mention for those team of the season cards including some of the moments from prem like de bruyne diaz garnacho and kunku as well now let's talk about today content on tuesday what could maybe move these card prices and what other spcs could be looking out for today it's Tuesday, so you know what's coming, right? A new campaign mix upgrade. And like they did with the Encore Icon pick on Sunday, are they going to like boost the rating of this? I mean, they, they added in foot birthday players last week. Are they going to make it a one of five? Are they going to up the rating to 89? I have not been touching this SBC because the player SBCs have been too good to even think about doing this. But I know some of you guys have been crafting it. So that could be re-released today with a higher rating or maybe just a one of five instead of a one of four. But that's probably going to come out, right? It's Gamble Tuesday. The other thing is we still have that midfielder Evo. Um, and I don't remember in the last couple of weeks if Tuesdays have been Evo days. I think they might have been. I forget what day we had this moment of truth Evo during uh, the live Tots promo, but today could be, I believe, an Evo day. We have the Golasso show Evo expiring to unlock. So, like, I've got Van Persie. I feel like I almost should just put Van Persie into this now since I have nobody else to slide into this, but I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to use that card, so I might as well not even try to do the games for the Evo. Um, there could be an Evo today. I don't have any leaks of who's going to fit the Evo. I haven't seen any leaks, rather. Um, on Twitter or anything like that, but I think it's possible we could get an evolution today. And then player SBC wise, kind of like we mentioned with the WSL and the Premier League getting SBCs now, are we going to get SBCs for the mixed league of tots that is in packs right now? I know we're getting a mixed league every single week for like the next four weeks in this game, right? And we've got a great Di Maria, Conte, Nani, and stuff like that in packs. I actually started out to try use, uh, started trying to use Dest yesterday. That Dest card, especially with Honchko, the Feyenoord center back. Let me tell you guys about these two, man. If you have an opportunity, if you pack Honchko, like he is who I packed, which by the way, it, it looks like it's pronounced Honko, but I've been told it's Honchko, kind of like an S. Um, this card is very good. And I know there's a lot of hype for him. His price went up a lot yesterday. I was able to pack him. He is a beast, okay? Like he, anticipate plus is always no joke. Um, and his headers on corners, you see five games played, two goals. He is a beast. So great at defending. His passing stats are pretty solid as well. And he's got the four-star weak foot. And he's left-footed, which I think is, is nice. And he has a team of the season plus, Ken. So I put him and Dest in the team. Bought Dest yesterday to try him out. He's a blast. He's a very, very good right back with the uh, Energizer. He's got Intercept Plus, which is great. And then Whip Pass Plus. Fun card for sure. And only 30K. So for 80K, you can try two great uh, defenders. Uh, but I'm I'm hoping that we maybe get a, a mixed league SBC player per week. I guess we'll kind of this week we'll set the um, trend and the expectation for what we'd expect to see in future weeks. But a player SBC, I guess, is possible. Maybe they don't do a player SBC if they're going to do an Evo. We'll just have to see. And then the other thing that I want to mention is, too, you know, we talk about these guaranteed team of the season packs, right? Premier League tots guaranteed probably tomorrow. Wednesdays are kind of the days for that. But it used to be in years past that on Tuesdays, whatever minor league of team of the season was in packs, we would get a guaranteed tots SBC on that day for those cards. And I don't know if that's going to happen today because there's no guaranteed mixed league tots pack in the code or even a women's super league guaranteed pack i don't believe i've seen any of those in the code but the one thing that we maybe could get today and we, we i mean we kind of are getting it today already is if you've been doing the tots daily play 
today is the day where we'll all be getting a tots guaranteed pack um, and that's the one that you can open or you can save so i don't know if we're gonna get an spc but it's kind of like we are getting a tots guaranteed today from this it's also day six of the daily login so you get an 84 times five and an 80 plus times five so some, some decent packs coming today for a tots guaranteed i'm gonna open this i think this pack from the daily play because it'll only contain tots live cards and then the stuff that is currently in packs and I don't want to wait till Bundesliga is out to add more cards to the pool. So we'll be opening some of these Tots Guaranteed Packs today on stream for sure. Hoping to get something good. But that's just something I wanted to mention. I don't know if they would ever drop this Tots Guaranteed Pack as an SBC ever as well. I could totally see them doing that. Don't know if that comes today or if they're just going to allow us to open the one from the objectives today in this game as well. But there's no code of like a guaranteed mixed team that he's in player yet. The other SBC I want to shout out, and maybe you guys already noticed this, you know, with team of the weeks being 42,000 coins, the 81 plus team of the week player pack that is tradable is actually worth doing with some extra fodder. I had some 84s, so I just sent it into this. Uh, looks like I'm packing an Argentinian center defensive mid, but this is honestly free coins um, because all these cards, especially if you pack somebody rare, I, I don't think he's very rare. Oh, he's, he's extinct at 45K. So, you know, I'll take this extinct 45,000 coin Varela right here and list it up and take my coins and be happy with that. I just made 45,000 coins off of duplicates and some other random cards that were in my club. So that's one thing that I would recommend you guys do as well is uh, do that SBC because it could be very good for getting you some coins if you have some regular fodder laying around in the club. The final tip that I want to give you guys as we head out of today's video is... First of all, maybe start to think about selling fodder because kind of like Tuesdays, once we get into Wednesday, fodder prices kind of peak. Today might be a day where you can sell some of that fodder. Maybe tomorrow if you want with the refresh of the icon pick. I think the icon picks refresh on Wednesdays for you, so you can do them again. But I think for fodder prices, maybe you start to get out of some of those just because that has been the trend lately. It always depends on what content we get. But, um, you know, these were 7K, 80s were 7K, another 11,000 coins. Maybe lazy list those and, and try to get them out today. The last thing I want to mention is Bundesliga team of the season. We've mentioned it already. We know it's coming. It's the next league, right? These cards are going to be coming on Friday. We're probably going to start to have leaks pretty soon because this was voted on, right? Remember, we voted for this, but also... Something we didn't see a lot of during Prem Tots was like the Prem Tots special cards moving. All I'm saying is for Bundesliga, some of them have taken a big hit as people start to maybe change up some of their squads with SBC players that we're going to get for Bundesliga. And as we kind of rotate into this new league this week, you know, just kind of put it in the back of your mind. If you want to go and invest in some out-of-pack specials, I think it could be... Um, it could be something that makes prices move. I would try to focus on the rare cards, though, and somebody who's not going to get a tots like that Marco Royce. This Goretzka just had a rarity spike. He's not actually 700K. Like, he was 400,000 coins all of yesterday. Look, he had a rarity spike last night, too, up to 500. So, you know, that's something that I would look into, though, because these cards, you know, they could rise a bit. They could totally rise a bit. Some of the most popular hype Bundesliga items could be moving upwards in price as we head towards Friday. Just want to keep you guys ahead of the curve on those. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit risky. And maybe you look for more of the players that would be involved in that cup if they're going to drop another Bundesliga, like a cup for like they did for the Prem for the Bundesliga. That would be something that I would um, kind of mention and throw out there because it's possible. I haven't even done this. Season 6 uh, Lounge Premier League. I almost think that we're going to get one of these for each different week of team of the season. So um, I need to play this, this game mode as well once weekend league is over. So, you know, if there's this sort of same thing, for the Bundesliga, maybe you're looking at 90 rated, max 90 rated cards from the Bundes because they would be used and very popular in that cup that would potentially come out here pretty soon as well. So that's one thing I wanted to mention because if you want to get invested and you want to do a, maybe a little bit of a gamble, that's something to look forward to ahead of time before we get to Friday as those Bundesliga cards will probably start to rise before then. So today really is crossing our fingers and hoping that we get those upgrade pack SBCs, seeing what other player SBCs and stuff we get, if we get an Evo that will move the market again. Toss Evos started great and kind of slowed down a little bit. I hope it kind of picks back up again. That would be mint from EA. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's basically every single day that you can. Make sure you're getting on doing your 84 sevens, your 83 times sevens, because I did open up packs yesterday. Oh, I totally forgot to say Guys, I spent 1.5 million coins yesterday on two store packs. And all I have to show for it is one Allison, 
two Ollie Watkins, and one McAllister. Yes, I opened the untradeable. Seven, this one right here, the 750K pack. I opened it twice. It's even there for me now two times again. I don't even know if I want to open this, man. Maybe once at the end of the week if I've hit nothing else by that time. If my red tots rewards when I get done with Weekend League are going to be shocking, then maybe I'll open it again. But gosh, man, we opened so many of these yesterday. It's literally an Allison and Watkins simulator. It is disgusting. It is disgusting. The pack weight on a 750,000 coin, $50 pack is terrible. So please, if you can help it, I would not spend FC points on this. I would go with the coins just because it doesn't cost you your real money unless you know you have the facilities you've been working for it whatever you enjoy that you have the the dollars or whatever don't put yourself in a stressful situation to try to open a 50 dollars store pack it is not worth it right now in this game for the pack weight especially on that one and that's supposed to be our best chance to pack something big and it's still wow bro it was it was shocking yesterday so we're going to keep grinding the SBC packs, though, the 81 plus picks, the bigger packs that we can refresh and do every single day to try to pack more blues. The counter's up to 30 already, which seems like a lot. But guys, the biggest team of the season player that I have legit packed, like the biggest of those 30, has been Allison like four times. I think he's the highest rated and probably the most expensive player, except for Honko that I got, right? He's 50K now because he's going up. Everything else has been just straight up fodder. So. That's a bit um, unfortunate, but at least we're packing the blues. It's helping us craft SBCs because they're high rated. And we're going to do more of that today and hope that we can finally get something massive, guys. All right, that's the video for me. Have a great Tuesday. I'll see you on the stream. That link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below your pack pulls again. I love keeping to hear about those. Yesterday, people were tweeting me more stuff from store packs, from 85 plus picks and everything. So keep tweeting me those and comment down below what you get. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate's account. See you guys in a stream today. Peace.